The Philippine Navy was in the works of improving its fleet of warships, ranging from obtaining additional frigates, corvettes, and even offshore patrol vessels sought to replace its old World War II vessels, most of which had already retired. One of those implemented is the Strategic Sealift Vessel or the SSV program, which sought to buy two landing platform docks for the Philippine Navy, whereby they successfully provided the deal that produced such naval vessels of what is now known as the Tarlac-class landing platform docks. The Philippine Navy will have two more such naval vessels, under an entirely different acquisition project known as the Landing Docks Acquisition Project. Earlier in an interview with Naval News, Part Pal Indonesia CEO Dr. Kaharudin Janan said the first batch of two additional Philippine Navy landing platform docks acquired last year will be delivered in the Philippines in 2026. This is an additional order to complement our two existing Tarlac class LPDs. With the current need, the Philippine Navy is in dire need of ships to suppress Chinese aggression. The Philippine Navy hopes that the two Tarlac class LPDs can be delivered to the Philippines as soon as possible. This 123-meter LPD is an improved version of the current Philippine Navy landing dock, which is much more sophisticated and modern looking compared to the Tarlac class LPD. Two additional new landing docks were acquired by the previous administration under the Horizon 2 phase of the revised AFP modernization program. Acquired from Point Pal Indonesia. Just like the Tarlac class landing platform docks, the new landing platform docks will still feature a dimension of around 123 meters in length, a 21.8 meter beam, and a 5 meter draft although they come with one unit landing craft unit per landing platform dock instead of two per landing platform dock, which can be found on the Tarlac class, and several FFBNW items, fitted for but not with, that may be added later on in a separate procurement process. Speaking of fitted for, but not with items or FFBNW, the Philippine Navy provided in detail the subsystems that they have planned on installing onboard the new landing platform docks, such as the 76mm Otto Malara Super Rapid Gun 120 revolutions per minute that are also found onboard the Jose Rizal class frigates and soon to be the new HDC-3100 corvettes and offshore patrol vessels. Other subcomponents that count as FFBNW are the 30mm Aselsen Smash RCWS, Remote Controlled Weapon System, either the Orlikon Millennium Gun from Rheinmetall or the GOKDENIZ Gun 35mm CIWS, Close In Weapon System, Leonardo NA25X Fire Control System, and Terma Sea Guard Decoy Launching System several of which are also available on board the Jose Rizal class frigates or may form a part of the HDC-3100 Corvette subcomponents. The Philippine Navy, nearing the end of the Duterte administration on June 30, 2022, has signed multiple acquisition projects related to the AFP modernization program, most of which are from the Philippine Navy, and among those projects that have been awarded to their prospective bidders during this period is the Landing Dock Acquisition Project. The notice of award provided to the Indonesian shipbuilder Point Pal Persero simply adds up the number of landing platform docks that the Philippine Navy may soon have, from two vessels to four vessels, all of which have been made by the said shipbuilder, and the design is a derivative of what the Indonesian Navy or the Tentara Nacional Indonesia A. Angkatan Laut has, the Makassar-class landing platform docks. This marks the second successful instance for the Indonesian shipbuilder to export warships to a foreign country, whereby it is at the same time a neighboring country in Southeast Asia and also a co-member of the Association of Southeast Asian Countries, or ASEAN, as the deal further cements the foreign relations of both Indonesia and the Philippines regarding defense cooperation. In this recent export prospect made by Point Pal Indonesia, Persero, it is interesting for the shipbuilder to further bolster its military-industrial capability, 
in which it serves as one of the reference points for the Philippines should it pursue its own self-reliance defense posture, particularly since the revised AFP modernization program under Republic Act 10349 is now nearing the Horizon 3 phase, starting from 2023 up to the year 2028. Along the way, Part Pal Indonesia has gained itself a nice reputation wherein, along with other shipbuilders that provide the naval vessels to the Philippine Navy, such as the South Korean shipbuilder Hyundai Heavy Industries, or HHI, it supplied the fleet with new warships that defined the efforts of different administrations from 2013 up to the present in arming up and improving the Philippine armed forces, particularly the Navy.